Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful Celtic weave hat. The yarn that I'm using for this hat is Billow. It's 100% cotton and it is a bulky weight yarn. You're gonna need two hanks for this design. And I'm just gonna show you here the uniqueness of this yarn. It does have a thick, thin characteristic to it, as you can see, so it's going thinner to bulkier and it's a really beautiful soft cotton yarn. I'll be using two hook sizes for this hat. So I'll be using the six millimeter for the body portion of the hat and then a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for the band of the hat. And this hat construction is worked from the top down. So I'll be using the color sagebrush for this tutorial and I'll be showing you how to make the toddler size hat. So let's begin with a magic ring. So wrap the yarn around your index finger three times, take your six millimeter crochet hook, slide it through all three loops, grabbing your first loop and pull it through. Then we'll chain one. And I'm gonna work 12 single crochet into the ring. Now, once you have your 12 single crochet, I just want you to push your work out of the way so you can see those loops. You're gonna take your tail and you'll begin to pull it. Only one loop is gonna pull in. So take the loop that's pulled and then just give it a tug. And now you'll take your tail and pull. Then we will slip stitch in the first single crochet to join will be a little snug getting your hook through. So you just have to give it a wiggle. Now we'll chain one and work two single crochet in every stitch. So this is gonna be a very drastic increase to get us up to the number of stitches we need for our size. So I'll work two single crochets in every stitch around, increasing to 24 stitches, and then I'll meet you up again. Okay, so once you've worked all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch to join. You are gonna notice that this is not gonna lay flat. It's gonna be kind of wobbly looking, and it's because we're increasing so drastically. So we'll chain one, and then we'll do another increase round. So this time our pattern is a single crochet in the first, and then two single crochet in the next. One in the next, and then two in the next. So you'll be increasing to 36 stitches. So I'm gonna work that around and I'll meet you up. Okay, so I've worked all the way around, ending with two stitches in the last stitch, and I now have 36 stitches. We'll slip stitch to join. I'll chain one and we'll do one more decrease or one more increase round. So this time we'll work a single crochet in the first two and then we'll work two in the next stitch. So one in each of the next two and then two in the next stitch. Okay, repeat that all the way around and you will increase to 48 stitches. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. We'll slip stitch to join and I now have 48 stitches and that is my final increase. So you can see it's gonna look wavy like this. It is supposed to look like that. It's because I've increased so drastically. If this really bothers you, just add a round of single crochet without increasing and it will flatten that out. The reason I wanna increase so drastically is because I want most of the hat to be in the, the Celtic weave. I don't wanna see a lot of this up here. Okay, so now what we'll do is chain two. And we're gonna do a setup round for the cables. So we're gonna work a double crochet and every stitch around. 
and just count, make sure that you do have 48 stitches. Our pattern is worked in a multiple of four. So for it to work out correctly, you need to make sure you have that multiple of four stitches. So I'll work that off camera and meet you up when I'm finished this round. Okay, so once you've worked all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch in the first double crochet to join. So we're going under the loops. Chain three. Okay, so now what I want you to do is look at, this is your chain, so ignore that. We're gonna be looking at the post stitches. So we're going to skip over the first two posts. So there's one, two, and then we'll be working into the next two. We're going to be working front post treble crochets. So to do a treble, you're yarning over twice. And we're going around under that post. So yarn over, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So yarn over twice, go down under the post of the next stitch, yarn over, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to go in working in front of the post stitches that we just made. We're going to go back and work into the skip stitches. So we're yarning over twice working the front post treble around that first skipped stitch and around the next. So we will just repeat that now all the way around. I'll go through it with you one more time and then you're just repeating it all the way around. So we skip two, front post treble around the next two stitches. Front post treble back into the skip stitches. The first skip stitch and front post treble around the next skip stitch. And now just repeat that all the way around. Okay, so I've worked that all, all the way around. So it should be looking like this. We're still getting some waving. That's gonna improve as we work the hat. Now, what you're gonna do to join is you're gonna see your chain and then you're gonna wanna find the top of the stitch here, okay, to join. So slide your hook under those loops of the front post treble crochet and join. Now we'll chain three. Now this round is gonna get a little trickier. This is an intermediate pattern, so it is maybe a little difficult for beginners, but I'm gonna go through it slowly. So what you're gonna do is you're skipping over now the first four stitches. So this whole crossover right here we're gonna skip over. And then here are the next two stitches. So that would be your fifth and your sixth stitch. We're gonna be working into them. So we're gonna do a front, front post trebles. This pattern is all worked in front post trebles. So what we'll do is yarn over twice. I'm gonna come over, skipping over four, and then we're going into the next two. Okay, so now to get the weaving effect, we want these stitches here coming up underneath, okay? So here is the first two. So we're gonna work across the next two. So those ones here, these are going to be left for when we come back around. You'll see how this works because basically the seam will be, it'll be seamless how this weave pattern works. So to get these stitches here coming up underneath here is we need to go in behind rather than in front. Okay, so it's always easier to work 
when we're working over top, but when we're going in behind, it is a little tricky. So we're gonna yarn over twice. Then what I like to do is just fold my work forward so that I can see the two stitches that I need to pick up. So here's the third and the fourth that we skipped. So we're going around the post, working a front post treble. You know it's kind of tricky to see my work, but if you just pull that down and forward, you can see here is that next post that we need to work into. So yarn over twice. and complete your front post treble. So now if you push your work back, those stitches are going underneath. Okay, now what we're doing, so we've already worked those two, we're gonna skip the next two and then work the front post trebles into those two. So skipping over these two stitches, working into the next two. And now this will be our repeat all the way around. So front post treble, push your work out of the way so you can see those two skipped stitches. And then we're coming back, working into the first skip stitch. Yarn over twice and the next. Okay, so as you can see, this round's a little tricky, but you're wanting to always make sure on that behind round that those stitches are coming up under here, and then you'll know you're doing it right. So I want you now just to repeat that all the way around, and I will show you how to work that last, um, that last repeat over at the join. Okay, so I'm coming around and as you see here, I've got two stitches before the chain. So now remember, we skipped over four at the beginning, leaving those first two stitches unworked. So now what we'll do is we're skipping over the last two stitches, working into the first two. So this is just gonna seamlessly join this pattern so that it looks the same all the way around. Okay, and then we're coming back again. We need to work in behind and work front post troubles into those skipped stitches. Okay, then we need to find that chain and it's gonna be right in behind here and we're slip stitching in the top of that first front post treble and then chain three. Okay, so now for the next round of the cable, we're again skipping these first four stitches. Okay, so one, two, three, four. This time, the ones that we're working into are showing up here on the top. So let's yarn over twice, work a front post treble. So we've skipped over four. Okay, and now we're still, again this round, we're leaving the first two stitches unworked. Now, as you can see, these stitches are coming up from in behind. We now wanna pull them over top. So we're gonna work in front. So this round is a little easier because we just have to work into the front of those stitches. There's the next one. And you'll start seeing this weave coming together. So now 
we've worked into these stitches, we've worked into those, so we're skipping the next two, which are these guys. And then the other two should be coming over top, and we're gonna work a front post treble into those two. This will be our repeat pattern now, all the way around. And we're going in front and working front post trebles into those skip stitches. And then we're just, you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. And I'll meet you up on that trickier one at the end where we, at the join. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. We're coming to the last two stitches that we're gonna skip over. And here's our chain. Here are those two stitches that we skipped at the very beginning. So we'll yarn over twice, working into those skip stitches on the other side of the chain. And then going, now don't confuse here, you'll see three, one of them is that chain, and then there's the stitches. So go over top, and then you wanna find your chain and slip stitch to join, and chain three. Okay, so now you really should be starting to see that weave come together and your join will be completely hidden. All of those chains are gonna be in behind here. So now we're just repeating row two and three of the cabling pattern throughout. So let's just do a recap of that row two of the cable. So we're skipping over the first four. This time, you'll see that these are gonna be tucked down in, okay? We'll work our front post troubles. And then these ones are coming up over top and they need to go underneath. So we're now again working from behind. So yarn over twice and we're going back into the, that skipped third skip stitch. And find, you just gotta dig through, find the next one. Okay. So we're skipping over these two, going into the next two. So this is just a repeat of what I've already shown you. I'm just going through it again. And then push these forward to go back into your skip stitches. And then you can double check to make sure you've done it right. These two coming up under those two. So just repeat that all the way around. I'm gonna pop up a little instruction for you to show you how many repeats you, you now need to do of each of the rounds. I'm gonna work them up off camera and then I'll meet you up again to show you how to work the band of the half. Okay, so I've been working away at my Celtic weave stitch. And I'm going to show you how you can easily count the rows to see how many you've done. You can see here, this is our join, our chain. So it's really easy to find that chain three. So there's one, two, three, four, five, 
six. So you should have six rounds with that chain three cable, okay? So that's not gonna include that first round of double, just once we get to the actual cabling section. So now what we're gonna do is the band. So we'll be changing over to our smaller hook. So I'm gonna use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for this portion. And I'm going to chain one and we're gonna start out with just a round of single crochet stitches to set us up for the band. So this is sort of like a base round before we begin the ribbing. So just work one single crochet into every stitch. Okay, so I've worked around 48 stitches and you'll want to slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. And then what we're gonna do is chain out for the length of our band. So my band, I want to be a total of 10 stitches. So I'm gonna chain out 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, because we'll now be working in the second chain from the hook, and that's why we'll only have ten when we work down the chain. So this is a nice join as you go. Band, we'll be working single crochet stitches in the back loop only to crochet this band. So I'll work all the way down. I like to count my stitches as I go just so I stay on track. And now I like to skip over that first stitch right here and then slip stitch into the next two along that base round, the edge of the hat. Now we'll turn, keep your yarn to the back and then we'll work in the back loops only. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the first stitch, and you're going through the back loop only. Single crochets in the back loop only all the way across. And then we'll chain one and turn and work single crochets in the back loop only all the way down the row to the base again. Once you've worked your 10 stitches, we're then going to slip stitch into those next two along the edge of the hat. Turn, and then again, work back up. Sometimes I'm not sure for sure if I'm working into this stitch or this stitch, so I always just count back if I'm not sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So right here, 10. So now we're just gonna repeat this all the way around. So we had 48 stitches for our hat. We should have 48 rows for the ribbing. Okay, and then that will fold up like this when the child is wearing the hat. So I'm just gonna complete now working this around off camera and I'll meet you up for the seaming. Okay, so once you've finished the band, we're gonna chain one and then we're just gonna slip stitch it together. And we're gonna do that by going through the back loop only and over to the other side. And we're just gonna slip stitch the band together. Just work all the way across going through each stitch. And once you've worked all the way across, I'm just gonna fasten off and then we can weave in this tail and then that seam will be hidden when you flip up your band. Okay, so then you can just sew on a snap here for the pom-pom. You just need to make sure you use a needle that will pull through the holes. So I'm just gonna sew this piece on for my pom-pom snap. Okay, so then you just take your pom-pom 
and you can just snap it on there. And then the final touch, what I like to do is add a personalized tag. And I'll have links in the description box for these items. And I just use leather rivets for securing. You can get the tags that you sew on as well if you prefer. Now these need to be hammered on and you can purchase the kit that comes with the tools for doing that. It's really easy. You just are basically hammering them so that it, that it doesn't, but they just will snap in place while you, before you hammer them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell so you stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day. Thank you.